Welcome to Clip Smile. How do you think you would react if you realized that the person you gave your all to was hiding something behind your back the whole time? Well, the man in this story decided that the only solution was to teach this person an unforgettable lesson on her own wedding day. Jane Brown had cheated on her boyfriend Andrew, who decided to take revenge by doing something the woman would never forget. The couple met in their twenties. Andrew, 25, had just finished his studies and was now working as a sailor, and Jane, 23, was working as a secretary in an important New York City office. Although Andrew did not like going out to parties with his friends very much, he always tried to venture outside of his comfort zone to have more fun since he worked as a sailor in the Navy and spent whole weeks at sea without having any contact with people on dry land. Always very polite, Andrew would greet the wait staff of the place when he arrived and go to the table where his friends were sitting. On one of these occasions, the young man bumped into an unknown woman named Jane, literally. He helped her pick up her purse from the floor and apologized. Jane forgave him at once and did not miss the opportunity to start a conversation. Cell phone numbers were exchanged, and it was evident that things would not end there. From then on, the two went on several dates and spent many hours together whenever Andrew was in town. The lovebird seemed very happy. He bought her presents from the regions he visited for his work and always took her out to dinner. Everything was going so well that, only three months later, they had already decided to move in together. Of course, this concerned Andrew's friends since the relationship seemed to be progressing very quickly, which was not Andrew's style at all. But he and Jane were so much in love that they felt there was no reason to wait any longer. They were so happy, and it seemed that any time would be right to take the next step. Since Andrew already had a roof over his head, and his girlfriend still lived with her mother, the move made sense. After all, Andrew spent days and even weeks traveling, even on some holidays. In this way, moving in together would actually mean that Jane would move to a place where she would be alone most of the time, but would feel more comfortable and at ease than at her mother's place. Moving is usually accompanied by huge and unusual problems. So, since Andrew needed to get back to the Navy as soon as possible, he left his credit card with his girlfriend for any upcoming food or moving expenses. Since he could not help with all the logistics, he compensated for that by insisting that she should not use her card but his. Jane accepted this and had a lot of time to deal with the arrangements since she had recently been fired from her job as a secretary. When Andrew made these kind gestures, like offering his house and a credit card, he was sure that he absolutely trusted Jane because he loved her with all his heart and could only think about her. Little did he know, however, that things would soon change completely, and all this love would turn to anger. One of the reasons Andrew was able to buy his own house at such a young age was that he was very organized when it came to his finances and frugal to boot. Over the years, he had gotten into the habit of checking his bank statements and being extremely careful about how he spent his money. Since he had never had anyone to support or luxuries to buy for himself, he had accumulated a good amount of money in his account during these years. It was precisely this entrepreneurial characteristic of his that helped him better understand what really kept Jane connected to the relationship. They had been living together for six months, and things were going well. Because of all the changes, not only physical but also in his personal life, Andrew had forgotten to check his bank statement for a period of three months, something that rarely happened. He finally decided it was time to resume his old habit and logged into his bank account. But what he saw then made his hands tremble. He could see clearly that his girlfriend was reckless with money. Jane had often withdrawn large sums from the account and paid for many expensive dinners at restaurants. The clothes she bought were designer clothes. She had been depleting the account of the money Andrew had worked so hard to save. It was hard for the man to admit this to himself, but he began to realize that love may not have been the only reason Jane was in a relationship with him. At first, he tried to deny it, but as time went on, things only got worse. By now, Jane had become so audacious that she not only spent his money without giving any explanation, but she was also starting to be more and more distant and reserved towards her boyfriend. 
Furthermore, the expensive dinners at restaurants and the amount of food she bought when Andrew was away were too much for just one woman. Something was wrong. So, with pain in his heart, Andrew began to draw up a plan to try to find out if his girlfriend was cheating on him with another man. Realizing that the woman he lived with was a gold digger and might be cheating on him was certainly not easy to deal with, but Andrew was a smart guy. He knew that Jane was also quite perceptive. So his plan had to be flawless if it was going to work out. In order to check up on the young woman's loyalty, Andrew decided to tell Jane that he would have to work during the next week and that, because of this, he would be away from home for eight days. It makes me sad to hear that, but it's your job, so I completely understand. Have a safe trip, sweetheart, Jane said as she received the news, giving her boyfriend a kiss on the cheek. But what Andrew was really going to do was spend only two days away and return unannounced at the beginning of the third night, aiming to surprise her. He checked into a hotel room a few blocks away from the house and nervously waited for the day, hoping he was wrong. Finally, the time for action arrived. It was Saturday night, and Andrew was returning home days earlier than he had told his girlfriend. Deep in his heart, he still hoped to find his beloved Jane alone, waiting for him at home. Then he would just present his early return as a nice surprise. But, unfortunately, the man didn't even have time to get out of his car because, as he was parking in front of his house, he saw Jane through the window coming out of one of the bedrooms with an unknown man. This confirmed Andrew's suspicions once and for all. With dismay in his heart, Andrew sat in the car, trying not to be seen by the people in his house. He leaned over the steering wheel and began to cry, thinking about how gullible he had been. He had been blinded by passion and the idealization of the woman he had always dreamed of, but in reality, she never existed. Jane had never seemed trustworthy to his friends, nor did she seem to match him in any way. His friends had tried to warn him in every possible way, but he had always ignored them. Now the man could see the truth about who his girlfriend really was, with all her deceit, lies, and keen interest in money. Andrew wiped the tears away quickly. A determined look came over his face. He was clear that things would not stay the way they were. He promised himself that he would get revenge somehow. He took his cell phone from the glove compartment and made a call. After a few minutes, he drove slowly away in his car without raising any suspicion from Jane. Andrew then disappeared for eight days, and when he returned home, he acted as if nothing had happened. He greeted Jane and sat down on the sofa, asking her what she had been doing all this time. The woman simply replied that she had been doing some shopping and hanging out with Mary and Kate, her two best friends. Andrew then remarked casually, You know, love, you wouldn't believe what John, our neighbor, told me. He said he had seen a strange man coming by the house and was worried. That's crazy, isn't it? The look on Jane's face betrayed all her guilt. She was completely taken by surprise. She had never imagined that Andrew might have discovered something. But before she could answer her boyfriend, he added, I told him it was probably someone coming to do some repairs since I was traveling. Jane seemed a little relieved but still in a state of shock. Afraid of losing all her privileges, she decided to make a risky move. As an act of desperation, she asked Andrew to marry her. Without blinking, he quickly accepted. Jane thought that this way, everything would be fine. After all, she thought he would not agree to marry if he had any suspicion of betrayal. However, Andrew knew the truth. The young woman was destined to fall into an even bigger trap than he had planned. A few days passed, and the date was chosen. Jane was preparing the wedding of her dreams, arranging the most beautiful flowers, booking the most requested band, and hiring the most expensive caterer and hall in town. However, Andrew didn't seem to care about the expenses and didn't want to get too involved either, showing up only to taste the food and swipe his credit card, using an exclusive account of his wife-to-be. Jane's wedding dress was the same one worn by a famous singer and was the kind that appeared in fashion magazines. Her future husband just said, make yourself comfortable. 
I want you to get ready for a day you will never forget. The big day came quickly. From the proposal to the ceremony, less than twenty days had passed, and Andrew had been away for a good number of them. Jane made a point of inviting all the people she knew, including her family that lived in another state and people she didn't even talk to anymore, just to witness the moment. Andrew, on the other hand, limited himself to fewer than ten guests, only inviting his closest friends. When asked about his family and the other people he knew, he dodged the questions. His future wife was so concerned about herself that she didn't even care. As the wedding march began to echo through the corners of the beautifully appointed church, all the guests stood up to gaze at the sensational bride walking down the aisle, dressed in her superb white gown and adorned with the most expensive jewelry possible. The woman did not even look at her fiancé as she walked down the aisle, but only at her own reflection in the church mirrors. For her, this would be the perfect relationship. Her husband would only spend a few months of the year at home, while she would go out with whomever she wanted and use her credit card as she pleased. Meanwhile, the groom was waiting for her at the altar with an expression that showed he knew exactly what he was doing. The priest began the ceremony, and everyone sat down again, just waiting for the end of all the formalities and the beginning of the party. But it was when the priest asked if anyone had anything against the union of this couple that Andrew delicately opened his jacket and took out a cell phone. His best friend and best man, who knew everything, handed him a microphone, and the man began to speak. I'm sorry, guests. I know most of you are here today to celebrate our beautiful union, but there will be no wedding today. Everyone opened their mouths in astonishment. The guests were all in shock. No one knew what was happening. That is when Jane looked at the cell phone that her groom was holding and realized that it was actually her own phone. At that moment, Andrew began to read the indecent messages that were contained in it, exposing Jane's betrayal in front of all her friends and family. After several minutes, which seemed like hours to the distraught bride, Andrew handed the cell phone to Jane and told her never to make contact with him again. Let this be a lesson for you to never again play with another person's feelings. It's a reality check for you. Maybe it will help you become a more dignified human being. The jilted bride ran as fast as she could out of the church. Practically all the guests left at the same moment. Andrew and his friends, on the other hand, decided to stay and enjoy the entire party that had already been paid for by the bride. Andrew drank and ate the best with his friends, celebrating that he had gotten rid of a liar and a cheater. If you like this video, please leave a like. The next story that is appearing on the screen now will probably move you too. Have a good day, and see you in the next video.